Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. This is Latikino14. In the last part, we just finished off the Gyric gang, pretty much, because uh, we killed their leader, obviously. The gang's pretty, pretty much going to be non-existent, uh, even though those delinquents are probably going to be wandering around here, wanting their revenge, but uh, Kongo told us to go down this secret entrance and finally, uh, and hopefully, grab back my Dragoon spirit. Man, I miss that thing. So... Lin, where are you? Meru, are you here to rescue me? It's a crappy looking uh, <laughs> little Dory he has there. Of course, Kate's totally worried about you. Oh no. I'm letting you out now. And Albert's the smart one, even though uh, he's walking on pretty much <laughs> a 2D background. Oh man, this opens it. If your brawn doesn't work, you should use your brain. Mary, thanks. Do you know these people? These are my pals. We're traveling together for a variety of reasons. You came all the way to such a dangerous place. What great people! Oh, I guess you're not concerned about us. Thank you. People's courage hasn't dried up yet. You showed it yourself. But why did you come alone? I had lots of things to say to the gang, too. I wanted to solve this by myself. Besides, I thought I might be able to talk to Gyrick if he hadn't changed. But something had changed. Probably the person who joined him half a year ago changed Gyrick. And that person is now assuming the form of Princess Emil. We need to go back to the castle quickly. That's after we find the stolen Dragoon Spirit. Any stolen goods should be around here. They were throwing all the stolen items in here. Now let's split up and look for it. Cool. Finally! Can I finally search or is it going to be automatic? Nope, it's not going to be automatic. Alright. Well, obviously it's the shiny thing over here. Right? I got it! Yes! Dart's not useless! Wow! It seems happy to meet you again. Yes! We have acquired the red-eyed dragoon spirit. Now let's go back to Fletz and see Princess Lisa and tell her everything. Alright. Finally we are done with this damn place. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Did you find the thing? Or did you find thing? <laughs> it seems you found both Lin and the Dragoon Spirit. Alright, now we have Kongul! Yes! Awesome. Now, uh, Kongul is a straight melee fighter. His magic completely sucks. Uh, whatever magic he will get in the very near future, so... Um, actually, I am going to go get that right now if we can exit out of this place without too much trouble. Now, um... As you can see, we do have him, but uh, let's see what we can arm him with first. Actually, uh, we have that new diamond claw. Can we actually use that? I saw it looked like... well, maybe it's him. Yep. I guess soul headband is too. Diamond claw. Holy crap. Told him it goes up by six! <laughs> uh, not too much, but it's better than what we had, so... Well, even though the other one uh, gave us a chance to stun, I might hold on to that just for that ability. Um, we have the Soul Headband. I wonder if anyone else can equip it. It does not seem to be so, but uh, what's with this Demon Stiletto? Why do I still have it? Uh, I probably need to get rid of that, too. Alright, looks like Hashel's probably the only one that can equip it, so... Here you go, here's a Soul Headband. Twister Glaive. Cool-sounding one, still. And uh, he only has an axe, so that's kind of crappy, but... Right now, he doesn't have anything else he can do. Increase hit rate for attacking. Yeah. I really don't know what to give him. I want to give him a power wristband. Give him a bandit's ring for his speed. Even though, uh, if we do throw the bandit's uh, wristband, or well, bandit's ring on uh, Meru, she becomes the fastest freaking character in the game. Which could be quite useful depending on uh, what you want to do. So, all Dark's doing is power wristband thing. 
recover HP every turn. Yeah, let's just give that to uh, Kongle while we have him out. So here's a therapy ring for you. We can get rid of that crappy old uh, <laughs> uh, bracelet that everyone starts with. And, uh, you know, Hashel's had his time, so let's bring back Albert. I, s I just love Albert. He's my favorite character. <laughs> uh, kind of strange since it's not the main character, but you know how it goes. So let's see him in a fight real quick. Let's see his first edition. Uh, we can show that off. Actually, mate, I need to bring back Hashel just for one more time so we can show you Summon Four Gods, because we will be seeing it for a while while we're working on our other editions. So uh, let's kill the Crafty Thief right now. Come on. Okay, good thing I didn't fa fail that. And wow, actually uh, survived. Might have been a better idea to throw the bandits ring on Kongle, because now we have two slow characters. Oh man, they stole gold. <laughs> it's not cool. Uh, it's only 50 gold. I doubt it's too huge of a deal. I got it back, but I missed. Even though I missed, he did 120 damage, so uh, I like it. It's quite good. He tried to get me at that last hit. <laughs> uh, not so fast. So Dart, even with the power wristband, is not doing as well as Kongo is, so... That's a little bit of a shame. I might actually just give... Uh... Yeah, I'm thinking just throw the therapy wristband on, or therapy ring on uh, Albert yet again and switching the bandage ring over. <laughs> Alright, got it back. And he's probably going to try to steal from me again. Okay, maybe not. Cool. wonder why he's not going after Kongo. It's quite strange to me. Probably too imp <laughs> intimidating at the moment. Okay, 182. Not bad. Not bad at all. And he's going to try to steal before he dies. Damn thing. Alright, I'll get this. Ah, Pursuit. Just like the <laughs> low damage dark attack from Pokemon. And nothing. Okay. Well, that was shameful. And yet again, Albert is taking the brute of uh, most of the damage. So, let's see. What was I going to do? Armed. We need to switch Kongles. Uh, let's just give him Sapphire Ring. He needs his therapy ring back. And he needs his bandit's ring. So he can uh, at least be a little bit useful. To replace Albert. Like I said, I want to show off uh, their additions before you don't get to see him for quite a while. So summon four gods. I think I get this off. It says three additions. Might be a little difficult, but we can get some free healing right here. Restore it, uh, MP and everything. Not bad at all. Now, uh, before we head back to Flitz, I actually want to uh, show off one more fight, and then I'm going to be heading over Lohan. Now, you might be questioning uh, why I want to head back to Lohan, but uh, you'll see in just a little bit. So, uh, right after this fight, I'm going to exit this town and uh, head over to Lohan, and I'll just cut that whole traveling park bit out for you. So, uh, we got these little por porky little dwarf things. <laughs> Piggy! Oh, he's gonna die so bad. So 115, not terrible. Hope I can pull out the summon for gods. I'm not. Uh, I haven't practiced it at all. Uh, not bad at all. I mean, it looks pretty flashy. If that accounts for anything. Alright. Can we do another pursuit? Nice. Alright, we're doing pretty well right now. <laughs> the nine minute mark. And he seems quite happy. Okay. Alright, oh! <laughs> I got hit! Damn it! Run! Run! Alright, so, uh... I will meet you in Lohan in just a little bit. Alright, so it looks like we have a little scene over here. Hey, we'll be into now soon. Go home quick to her, you handsome man. <laughs> Kate's worrying. 
Dart, I cannot thank you enough, but I have to say it. Thank you. Now Danao is saved. It's just the beginning. The mayor must be taking action now in response to your courage, Lin. Finally, that mayor is taking action. Thank you for your guidance, Meru. What are you talking about? It's not over yet. What? Dart's journey won't be easy. What you guys do is not normal. Monsters like Virage appear, Dragoons, Giganto as I thought they only existed in fairy tales. I can't explain it, but I think there will be a lot of things I can help you with. So why don't we go to Fletz now? We can we can't procrastinate like this, right? It'll continue to be a traveling three ring circus. Alright. I'm going. Yeah, best get out of here before uh, she sucks you in too. Say hello to Kate. Please come to our wedding. I'm having it tomorrow if, it, if it's possible. Bon voyage. Alright. Well, uh, I guess we could check it out if it does happen. But, yeah. Uh, not much else. I'm just traveling back, so uh, I'll meet you back in Lohan once again. Alright, we are back in Lohan. Finally, after like a shit ton of fights we went through. <laughs> But uh, the reason we came back to Lohan was to visit a certain merchant we've seen earlier in the game. So as you can see, there's a cutscene over here. Hey you, walking over there! Hmm. Hey, didn't we talk the other day? Come on, I've got great stuff. Why don't you take a look? Uh, I guess, sir. What kind of thing you're trying to swindle us out of? Look at this stone, just the right roundness and size. It's very elegant. A great bargain. How about a hundred gold? I cannot believe it. Hey, you. Don't touch that. Oh, yeah. What's that? It's too much of a coincidence. Step up, step up. This is the much-talked-about Shining Miracle Stone. <laughs> Any illness or anxiety disappears instantly when the stone shines. A miracle, a mystery! I'm making a limited offer now for 1,000 gold, how about that? Whoa, hold back, Rose. It's business, that's life. And? Yeah, we're actually gonna buy it for 1,000 gold. How do you like the Shining Miracle Stone? <laughs> I'm making a limit offer now for a thousand gold. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, thanks! Now you'll have good luck! Oh yeah, a thousand gold for another Dragoon Spirit! The Golden Dragon! Now Kongola even has a Dragoon for him. Oh, that is so awesome. So, uh, he's not too useless for too long. <laughs> we just, uh, have a couple more to go. Oh, man. Bet you didn't expect that from this, uh, shady merchant. He actually has freaking Dragoon Spirit with him, but, you know, uh, I think this episode's gone on long enough, especially trying to edit out all those battles, uh, I have it in for me, so, thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon, not too much progress, but, you know, we did, uh, wish Lin, you know, a good wedding, and we got Kongol a Dragoon Spirit, you know, the earliest he can in the game, pretty much, you just have to know when you can do it, so, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.